Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Don here. I've been using Windows 10 release for about a week now and uh, beta for even longer than that. So after using it for some time, there's a couple of things I like and there's a couple of things I hate about Windows 10. So I compiled the list. So here are five things to do after installing Windows 10. Number five, Edge is such a crappy browser that the only thing it's good for is to download Chrome. Number four, by downloading an extension that Google Chrome has called Bing to Google, you probably guessed it by now, it relates all the Bing searches to the Google search, which makes Cortana and everything else much more usable. Number three, quick list. Now when you open File Explorer, it shows up a list of recently opened files and stuff that you saved and crap like that. Now, that is an easy way to get someone in trouble. So here's how to change it back to the old way that we loved. Uh, go into um, Open File Explorer, go into View, go into Option, Open File Explorer 2, change that drop down list from Quick Access to this PC. Number two, sharing your Wi Fi access. Now, Windows have this new thing where if you're friends with people on Skype or um, friends with other programs that they have inside the system or emails and stuff like that, you will share your Wi Fi list with them. Meaning, if they were to come over to your house with their laptop, they automatically have access to your Wi-Fi without having to type in any keys. I understand that they're trying to make it more simple, but that will get a lot of people in trouble. A lot of ISPs don't like this, so if you happen to fall on that criteria, I would disable it. I, I have the trouble with, I have a neighbor that could detect my Wi-Fi, so I'm friends with him on Skype. Does that mean he could just access my Wi-Fi? Number one, this is my favorite thing. Uh, it's a little geeky, you could say, but it's really cool. It's called God Mode. You create a folder in the desktop, uh, put in these series of text, and save the folder name that way, and it will give you this new icon called God Mode with a ton, tons of list of what you could do with Windows as far as everything that you can see on the control panel to theme settings, screen savers, and all that stuff. So that's a pretty cool nifty thing. You're gonna have to browse through it and see what's in there, but it's called God Mode. Hope you enjoyed my list. There's a couple of things that didn't make it to the list which is a little bit more advanced. Now if you uh, enjoyed watching this and you liked it and you want me to do more, please put it in the comments below and also like the video. Now last video I said I was gonna do a giveaway. What I'm gonna be giving away is the battery. If you haven't seen the episode, I'm gonna post the link right here and also in the descriptions and everywhere, like a card here and there, etc, etc, so you know what I'm talking about. There are also going to be two winners. The rules are, go to Facebook, I'm going to have a link in the descriptions below, and you can also find it in the about box. Share the video, write a little comment, and I'm going to choose from that list. The second winner will be from Twitter. Add me on Twitter, retweet, uh, put a comment so I know you're not a bot, and again, I'm going to choose someone from that list. I'm going to be looking at the accounts just to, uh, just to make sure that I won't accidentally give the same person uh, two batarangs. If you don't want to miss what's coming up on the next video, please hit that little subscribe button. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please take a moment to subscribe. It helps me a lot. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll post a link right here.